Monster Energy Cup Series playoffs from Martinsville Speedway. And for the first time, NASCAR Champions Week is going to Music City. You can be a part of the celebration and join NASCAR in Nashville. That's December 3rd through the 5th. Visit championsweek.nascar.com for more information. A very warm day in Martinsville. Marty, you doing okay down there? Oh, we're all fine down here, Rick. And you can see right there the warmest in 15 years here at Martinsville. Now, 80 degrees may not sound like a big deal, but when you think about Martinsville, races are usually held in April and late October, so that makes you look cool here, but it is very warm today, and so Jeff, I harken back to races here at Martinsville in the past, like Ricky Rudd getting out of the car in victory lane and needing oxygen. Same thing for Ricky Craven when he won a race here. This is a physically demanding racetrack, and one that drivers usually don't expect to be this warm, so how much is that weather going to play a factor today in 500 laps here around the paper clip? It is an issue, Marty. The hottest race I ever remember running was at this racetrack, and it was that Ricky Rudd race that he won. And I'm telling you, it was about 89, 90 degrees that day, and I thought I was in trouble about halfway through. Caution right now. Caution flag has come out, and it's debris on the racetrack. Nobody is pointed in the wrong direction. And it's actually, it looks like a, a brake duct, maybe, Steve, rolling across the front stretch. Well, there's some sheet metal hanging off the right rear corner of the 15. That came from somewhere. I see a brake duct on the front stretch. Oh, you're getting ready to see it's the nose of the 36. Look at that right there. It catches the front of that corner panel, peels it open like a tuna can. And that, but there there's, comes the rest of the brake duct. Yeah. Carbon fiber, that can cut a tire. Tons of debris everywhere. So now, decision time. 28 okay. laps of yeah. your tires. I think the leaders will probably stay out. I don't think the tires are warm enough or slick enough to come to pit road. I, but I do expect it to be a split somewhere. If the leaders do come, it wouldn't shock me if someone like Chase Elliott maybe stays out and tries to get all that track position. And you think the tires are wearing well enough that you might not have would possibly a two-tire stop even? I think two tires is an absolute possibility. From what I hear, the left side tires do not wear very much. They lose grip as they get warm. But they don't wear out. Like, you're not going to go to the fabric. We see the 11 of Denny Hamlin take the left. He comes to pit road. It looks like the whole field is following him. That is a tight pit road, Kelly. Yeah, but they're making their way down, and that 19 of Martin Truex Jr. also going to come into pit road. Sounds like Martin says it's just getting slick out there. He needs a little bit more center turn in his number 19 car. Waiting on the tire call. We'll have to wait to see. Ah, four tires is the call. Kelly, another factor with the heat, the track's going to start taking rubber. Ryan Blaney saying that as the track is taking rubber for him, it's making this car a little bit tighter. Going to be four tires for Ryan Blaney as well for leader Denny Hamlin. He said his car was getting tight in the center and then loose on exit. Four Goodyear tires for him. A quick stop for Blaney and his bunch, but Denny Hamlin with a uh, little bit longer stop. And Martin Truex Jr. will win the race off pit road. We'll see what happened the 11. Quite a few were passed there. Denny Hamlin got by a race off pit road brought to you by Crow. 